Year three preseason here in the Saints franchise. Welcome back, everybody. We've got a lot to talk about today. We're going through all three preseason games, the roster battles, and setting the roster for week one. We made a lot of offseason changes. We have a quarterback battle to see between Trey Lance, Sam Darnold, and we've got to see who's going to fit best in this offense that's been revamped a little bit. The offense hasn't changed significantly. We have a new center in Jimmy Ward. We have new tight ends across the board. That entire position group is brand new, led by the rookie Kevin Blackwell and veteran Josh Oliver. Two off seasons in, we've definitely made this roster significantly younger. And I think we have a lot of players with significant upside, but we made a lot of sweeping changes on defense. Bringing in the veterans, Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa, Jabril Peppers, and Aleem McNeil. We've got to get better against the run. We have to get more pressure. And Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa, I think, is going to be a really significant player for us. And Jabril Peppers gives us versatility that I really want to see defensively. Now, the draft gave us a chance to really upgrade the future of this team, and I did not take a popular path, trading down to then select Juan Beard, getting a couple second round picks and turning that fourth overall pick then into Juan Beard plus Justin Medlock plus a couple more picks. But is anyone going to turn into the superstar this defense desperately needs? And maybe there's somebody with the upside we could have taken staying put at four. This roster only has a handful of players now over the age of 30, and very few of those even play key roles. This team has changed a lot, but what do we have here in this year three Saints team coming off the 5-12 and 12 campaign? First order of business, let's get into this quarterback competition. Game one against Denver, Trey Lance under center. And with Trey Lance, you get a lot of mobility, a strong arm as he finds A.T. Perry on the crossing route. Gain of 14. Comes back the next play. Off play action. Drills it to him over the middle. And A.T. Perry then coughs up the football. And our first drive comes to an abrupt end. So a chance to see this starting defense in action. And not a great first impression, giving up the big gash to Javante Williams. Broncos take it down inside the red zone. And you know, this scheme is still going to be very aggressive. Expect a lot more blitzing this year. Paulson Adebo gets the sack. Welcome back to Alvin Kamara, who missed most of last year with a season-ending injury. We'll see how much he has left in the tank at age 30 as Lance overthrows Chris Olave on this pass. Let's go back to the defense. We're going to jump around these games kind of erratically at times. Pressured inside and Wilson throwing incomplete. Brissy with the pressure, Peppers with the coverage. We get off the field on third down. This is a third and five for Trey Lance. And how about that throw to Chris Olave? I don't think we're going to be the most aggressive offense, but we do have some big play downfield receivers we've got to take advantage of. Now Kamara gets to the edge. Good block by A.T. Perry. Kamara down to 87 speed. And Lance rolling left now to the rookie, Kevin Blackwell. At 270 pounds, he has 85 speed. He's a good blocker. He can also break tackles. Play action the other way. Caught by Oliver. Touchdown, New Orleans. Really nice drive there for Trey Lance in the offense. Using the play action game, using the multiple tight end sets. That's something else that'll be a change this year. Way more to tight end. Up 7-3. Defense. Third down. Blitzing Wilson. He coughs it up and we are on it. Eric Kendricks, the veteran. Forces the fumble. He was a addition here in preseason. So Lance gets it back and overthrows A.T. Perry. So that's the kind of thing we saw frequently from Derek Carr and Jake Hayner. Comes back to Olave. Finds him for the first down yardage. Now Olave does get shaken up on this play, but he would be all right. 
First and 10, No Olave, Lance to Perry inside the five. That was one of my favorite throws there at Trey Lance. And down here in the red zone, he is a running threat. Touchdown, New Orleans. Really good first impression as Lance leads us to two touchdown possessions. Here is the second team now led by Sam Darnold. With this running game, I'd also like to get outside the tackles a lot more often. I just question if we have the speed to really take advantage of it. But I think we're starting to get the blocking. The tight ends we added this year are all really good blockers. I think our tackles are also excellent for the running game. Darnold off play action, little dump off here. I wasn't really just going to hand the starting job back to Alvin Kamara. I was really intrigued with Kendra Miller. I've seen so much good out of him. Darnold, a deep ball. It is caught by the rookie, Morgan Logan, for the touchdown. That is the seventh round selection competing for a roster spot. And this is how you go about making the team. That's a 50-yard touchdown. Now we go to the second team defense. Denver here driving inside our 30. Pitch it outside. Nice job by the linebacker Jerry Rayburn in his second year. Then a third down and 15. Pressure on Juan Parker and the sack from Paul Redman. One of our third round picks who did have hidden development as well. Darnold leads the offense back out. Pass caught. There's Logan again. And this hit causes an injury. That would be Morgan Logan's last play of the preseason. We just got to know the guy, and now he's injured. Darnold lays it in downfield, and that's the veteran K.J. Osborne. I thought it was important to bring in another veteran like Jawan Jennings or Josh Reynolds last year. Here is Broncos football and a stop for the rookie Justin Medlock, the 371-pound nose tackle. Third and 10. That's caught, and it's a first down. One thing with this second unit, there was a lot of players I was excited to see. They were not generating very much pressure without blitzing. So Juan Parker leads the Broncos downfield for a pretty easy touchdown drive. So now we're more third team offense, and here is the fourth round rookie, David Mayweather, and his first throw is intercepted, trying to get it downfield. Broncos take over, that's Damari Mathis. Broncos have it again, they run it left, and it's a good downhill tackle for Mitch Heron, the undrafted safety. On second down, not much pressure, easy check down. Broncos get to about the first down marker. Third and inches. Next play, they block it up well. McLaughlin gets loose. Touchdown, Denver. Disappointing showing here for the second and third team defense. Game's tied up. Mayweather looking to show what he can do. Rolling left outside the pocket. Drills it to Eric Whiteside who spent basically all of last year on the practice squad. And he has great size. He is a possession receiver that I wanted to see here with Morgan Logan getting injured. Mayweather finds him again over the middle. We go inside the red zone, and inexplicably, Blackwell decides to sit down behind the linebacker instead of in front. That one gets picked off too. Now, can anybody on this defense make a play? Jerry Rayburn definitely did. He was our leading tackler here in the preseason game one. Third and two. Get the pressure. Parker downfield. Caught and getting away. Richie James. What a play. If this game counted, I wouldn't have been happy with that one. That was probably play of the preseason, honestly. That was so nice. David Mayweather, Eric Whiteside. We got a connection here in development. This is working. Red zone, John Waters running through a safety into the end zone. Waters showed some good things last year, and I've wanted to see these young running backs develop. I didn't add anybody to the running back room this year. You know how hard that was for me? 
Now we got Whiteside on the end around. He's not the fastest guy, but he ain't the slowest guy either. And he gets the first down. Mayweather first and 10. That one came out weird. Jumping back to the Broncos offense. Juan Parker, play action, feeling the heat this time. Extends the play and just misses his receiver. Got a little pressure that time. I like Juan Parker. He's a fun quarterback. David Mayweather overthrown and picked off. Could not get that one to Eric Whiteside. So Denver in a tie game here at our 30. Pressure up top a jump ball and we should have picked it off. That is Kirkpatrick. His first name escapes me right now, but he was an undrafted slot corner prospect. Mayweather, this time, hooks up downfield. Kevin Blackwell. We lost Jawan Johnson, but I think we have excellent tight ends for this year. Eric Stills getting involved now. He was more of a scat back last year, played very sparingly. Wanted to see him here on some of these outside runs. Not able to get outside that time. Here's a third down and 11 now. Against the pressure, Mayweather off the mark again. Had an open receiver, George Levins. Thought Mayweather's accuracy was pretty concerning here in this game. Looks like a, a backup quarterback. Juan Parker, though, looking like a guy who could maybe start. Juan Parker hits that pass outside. Denver gets into field goal range. Now this is third and inches. And we make the play. Tyler Rhodes. Forces fourth down. Denver brings out the field goal team to go ahead. 37-yard field goal, and we block it. Adebo got a hand on it. It's picked up by Aleem McNeil. Rumbling in Denver territory. The kicker takes down Aleem McNeil. Come on. Now we get the field goal try. This game is over. Saints take it. That's a great ending for an exhibition preseason game. One of three done. Coming out of this game, I felt really good about Trey Lance and his first start. But I also felt, you know, disappointed that our pass rushers didn't really make a big impact, be it starting or backup. I thought our run defense played excellent as well outside of a couple plays. We definitely contained the run. Eric Whiteside... He definitely left a strong impression. I never got to really play with him last year. And with Logan's injury, it really gives him an opening. And then Jerry Rayburn, 10 tackles, 4 TFLs. We blitz our linebackers a lot, so we need guys that can make those one-on-one -on -one tackles in the backfield. Kendricks made a lot of plays in this game as well. So Morgan Logan, unfortunately, tears his hamstring. That was the first big preseason injury we had. Now let's work our way into game two. Now we take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence and uh, a better starting offense overall. And two quarters for the starting units. Thought it was a good jump in competition too, especially for our defense. But we open with Trey Lance and the offense. More play action, little dump off here. And Kevin Blackwell picks up five. We go to third down. Trey Lance has time caught by Chris Olave first down. Now we got first and 10 trying to get Kamara outside. He gets by Josh Allen, but then on the backside pursuit, Trayvon Walker. These two, by the way, absolutely wrecked this game. I'm not talking about the pass game. I'm talking about the run game. We got third down now. Lance needs nine, has time, and that's not going to get it done. A lot of traffic there over the middle. Let's go to defense. Three tight ends for Jacksonville, and they run it wide with Travis Etienne. Big gain, and an injury on this play. James Houston. That would be his last play of the preseason. So number 57, one Beard in the game as the catch is made somehow at the 44 of New Orleans. First and 10, and one Beard gets the tackle for loss. Got a free look there at the receiver. 
on the sweep. So, would Juan Beard make an impact? No push here. Trevor Lawrence running through Eric Kendricks, and that's enough for a first down. Jacksonville spreads our defense out. Evan Ingram now. One-on-one -on -one with Kendricks. Advantage Ingram at this stage. And from the 11, pressure from Brissy. We bring down Lawrence. Ryan Brissy still looking like our best interior pass rusher. Let's go to the following Jacksonville drive. A third down inside our red zone. Lawrence extends the play, throws it up top, and should have been picked in the end zone by Tony Adams. Trying to take over that starting free safety job again. We got Trey Lance rolling, Trey Lance dumping off, and Kevin Blackwell breaking a tackle. It's actually something he's supposed to do pretty well. I think he's got a really diverse skill set. Here we try to work to the outside, cut back. It's Kamara for a first down. Play action now with Trey Lance, patiently waiting, and then finding Jacoby Pierman. We're putting these receivers in dangerous spots, though. We need to avoid hits like this all the time. Luke Rowe had to leave, dislocated wrist. We try tossing to Kamara. Josh Allen says, enjoy your loss of six yards. Back to defense. Trevor Lawrence going downfield, has a step, and it's caught behind Marshawn Lattimore. I believe this is one of their rookie receivers here, Poole. He looked really good early in this game. Then we bring some pressure. Get the blitz on Lawrence. It's James Bolden. Sometimes blitzing is all we got. Third down, though. We only send four. Get pressure with Brissy. Lawrence breaks the pocket and then breaks our hearts first down. We've got to get better on third down this year. It was a huge issue last season. It just felt like we couldn't make a play at times. And the Jaguars would just make all these close calls go their way. Touchdown, Christian Kirk. Humbling game here against the Jaguar starters. I did want to get Sam Darnold some reps in with the starters. And Kendra Miller gets slammed down by Trayvon Walker. Chris Olave then shaken up again. He'd be all right. Back to pass against the pressure. Too far in front of A.T. Perry. This was a tough defense. Couldn't play the way I wanted to with those edge rushers. Here is a good stop, though, in the running game as we bottle up J.K. Dobbins. Travis Etienne had gotten hurt in this game. There's a good stop again. Brissy. want to see him get better against the run this season. And now he gets pressure on third down as the pass is caught by Ingram again. At least it felt like Brian Brissy was making a positive impact, but very few players just making plays. Big run given up to the outside into St. Territory. Already 13 points on the board. We blitz Lawrence again. James Bolden unblocked. Hey, Demario Davis had seven and a half sacks last year. We can get there again with one of these linebackers. Screen pass third and long. This is the story of a year ago. What do we do on third and long to actually get off the field? I don't like blitzing there, but it feels like it's almost a necessity because our zones just get beaten or you're not set up for a screen pass, but that can beat the blitz as well. Ingram's looking like the best tight end in the league here. Second and goal for Trevor Lawrence. He floats out left and then off balance. He just dumps it off for a touchdown. There was no stopping this Jacksonville starting unit. We did not look good. Offense ain't looking much better. Here's Darnold. Now we go inside here, getting Kendra Miller going. I really wanted to run the football, but this team made me really change up the plans. Drills it here. KJ Osborne caught and hurts. I don't know what it is. Same injury settings, same patch, same sliders, but injuries are just showing up a lot more. First and 10, going long, and caught by Jacoby Pierman along the boundary. Great job staying in bounds. Darnold trying to lead us to the end zone. 
And a diving catch by Kevin Blackwell, continuing to shine here in the preseason. Third and three. Now he makes the grab in traffic to move the sticks. Goal to go Saints. Trying to put this in the end zone, though. Forced it in and intercepted by Trayvon Walker. Walker looks like an all-pro in this game. Here is the Jaguar offense, second unit, second half, and off the edge, we got Travis Gibson. That was another unblocked sack, and unfortunately, most of our sacks were from unblocked pressure. Third and 19, deep ball, knocked away, get that out of here. That is Greg Cook. Darnold continuing on in the second half, outside the pocket, and caught. There he is again, Eric Whiteside in the game two. Now into Jaguar territory. Let's get Joe Sanford going. He's a rookie deep threat, undrafted. Inside give, Kendra Miller. I think he does a really good job of grinding out extra yards. We got Darnold now, off play action. Perfect strike to Whiteside and caught inside the 15. I really like him because I think he gives us another option for an outside threat. And then we go off the fake. They forget about the fullback. Reggie Gilliam, touchdown. I made sure to sign him as we got into preseason. I would like to go with some more I form this year, some too tight end. I think that's where our roster will fit the best. Jaguars driving here against the pressure and again, not disrupting the quarterback. He's playing seven on seven for much of the game. Even Juan Beard working against the right tackle, not really having any success, no major pass rush victories. I know it's gonna be a project with some of these guys, but I hope to see them at least show the flashes against these backups a bit better. Defense though, they did not have a good night. Darnold trying to improve his stock. Play action on first down. And right through the hands of Joe Sanford. You can't have those. Third and five. Darnold. Now he misses Sanford. Missed opportunities all over the place. Let's go back to our offense now in the fourth. Darnold. To the outside, and K.J. Osborne looking like someone who will make this roster. Darnold, third and ten, floating, caught by Blackwell, and taken off. Down inside the 25. I saw everything I thought I needed to see out of Kevin Blackwell. Darnold steps up, he can run a little bit as well, has some good mobility. From the 12-yard line, Darnold... End zone, caught for the touchdown, Kevin Blackwell. Do you believe in this normal development rookie yet? Because I always did. Defense trying to show up here late, down 13, third down, knocked away, Jordan Howden. Finally, something positive defensively. We got David Mayweather in the game now with Eric Stills. He gets loose for a moment. One thing I haven't really seen though is him break tackles or make anybody miss. Third and 14, Mayweather. Oh, what a catch! George Levins, who was on the bottom of this receiver depth chart a year ago. Third and nine, Mayweather, middle, off the mark for Blackwell. His accuracy was a little more hit or miss than I expected because his ratings are similar to Darnold and Lance in that department. We do get a third down or a second down stop trying to get the third down here and we do take Bigsby bottled up. Get it back for our offense and David Mayweather stepping up and lays it into Levens for a first down 32 yard connection. We're met with fourth down later in the drive. Mayweather, no chance, he is sacked. And that is the end of game two. I didn't think there were as many positives in this one. The starters got beat by the Jaguars on both sides of the football. We looked like we had a long way to go in this one.
Now, Kevin Blackwell, I thought looked excellent through two games. I fully expected him to be our starting tight end, and he definitely looks like a superior player when he's going up against backups. The run game was kind of taken away by Trayvon Walker and Josh Allen and then didn't really get it going with the backups either. We had a few players leave with injury. James Bolden picked up two sacks on blitzes. We only had one really good pass rush win sack in that game. We ended up losing James Houston to a broken thumb though, which is going to have him out the rest of preseason and into the regular season a little bit. I wanted to make a couple of cuts on some guys who weren't really getting playing time, so we are going to release Nathan Shepard and then Kurt Heinisch, as we had plenty of defensive tackles on this team. We did have a training camp standout storyline, and this is for second-year linebacker James Bolden who I think had a decent rookie year, but still has a long way to go to being a three-down linebacker. I want to see him get better in coverage. His play recognition gets better here. As we go into the preseason finale against Anthony Richardson and the Indianapolis Colts. It's defense up first in this one, and at running back, here's the first running back selected in this year's draft. It's Jadarius Roby. Jonathan Taylor must have been injured for this game. So they put in the rookie, and immediately you can see why he was the first running back selected this year. Anthony Richardson off play action, making that look easy. Off balance to Michael Pittman first down. Defense coming off a rough showing against the Jaguars. And more of the same here. That's Deontay Johnson, the former Steeler who made his way to Indian free agency. Third and in inches. Swing out. Roby doesn't get there. And that is a stop. And there is the first round pick. Juan Beard reaching for his knee. That would be the end of his preseason. Fourth and one, Colts going for it. Richardson caught by Pittman at the 16. Now, Juan Beard's injury wasn't like a torn ACL or anything, a dislocated knee. We will talk about all the injuries here after the games are played. But the Indianapolis offense looking excellent as they finish it off with an Evan Hall touchdown. Yikes, this defense ain't looking good. Meanwhile, could Trey Lance solidify the starting quarterback job? First off, we're going to run the ball with Alvin Kamara as he gets 11. Then we got two tight ends on the right side and play action left. Lance off balance and he's got Perry by himself. That's good for 34. A lot of good plays off play action here in the preseason. Going back to it, Lance to his right, end zone, off the hands of A.T. Perry, but that ball was in the right spot. Big plus there for Trey Lance. Working to the edge now, Camara. He fights his way for about seven. Got three on that drive. Colts have it here. This is third and ten. Looking for a stop. Just out of the reach of Tomlinson. And Michael Pittman takes off for a 78-yard touchdown. So close to knocking that away. And then we have two guys just miss tackles. Really sloppy defense from New Orleans. Not how I wanted us to look going into week one. Trey Lance and the offense takes over, down 11. Let's see the big arm on display for Pierman. He's got it. Touchdown, New Orleans. And that's the play that really ended this quarterback competition. Trey Lance sends this over 60 yards in the air to one of the fastest players in the NFL. And it's six points just like that. The competition's over. Colts ball. Can the defense show up here? Hand off Roby. Good tackle by Ali McNeil. Third and five. A chance for a stop. Quick throw. Caught by Deontay Johnson. Colts first and ten. Again, Roby right side. We bottle that up. And now there's an injury. 
to a Lee McNeil. He would not return. Up the middle, the next play, beating the blitz. Goodbye, Jadarius Roby. I can't believe a player that looks as good as he does is just going to be Jonathan Taylor's backup. We got it again here at the 13. Lance getting outside the pocket. He wants to show off the arm again, but this one is intercepted. Wanted Chris Olave, and for a split second, I thought he had him. Niles Bayless, their first round pick in year one. He makes the interception. Here is Anthony Richardson. He fires downfield, and it's denied. Finally, Tommy Tomlinson. Second and 10 on the next play. Richardson hits Roby, and now he beats us through the air. First down. Almost 200 yards passing for Richardson against the Blitz off the hands of Jabril Peppers. A couple good plays on this drive for the defense. And then a sack of Richardson by Eric Kendricks. I felt like Kendricks was playing fairly well here in the preseason. On third and 13, they set up the screen pass. Evan Hull doesn't get it. We actually force a field goal. I'll give it back to the offense again. On a third and 12, Trey Lance incomplete for Josh Oliver. He's not a great route runner. He doesn't create separation. We just go for it on fourth down and throw it up to Olave. That is going to be a touchdown. Trey Lance giving us that vertical element that disappeared from the offense last year. We've got to take a couple shots a game with Olave and Pierman for sure. 24-17. A lot of fireworks in this game. How about J.O.K. stopping Roby? Don't look at the part where it says he has over 100 yards in the first half. Taking it back. Trey Lance fakes to Camara, And over the middle. What happened, Chris Olave? What a weird play. Second and 10, though. Play action. Lance downfield. What a throw! Chris Olave. And the arm talent to Trey Lance on full display here. On second and six, Lance dumps it outside. A first down, Camara. I think that pass catching is still going to have him being very valuable. And Kevin Blackwell hurt on the play. That would end his preseason. A lot of injuries to talk about later. Lance outside the pocket. I didn't run with him a whole lot here in preseason. It's not the time, but that's there as well. From the 11, rolling right. Caught by Pierman. Out of bounds or stopped around the one. So trying to put this in. Not going to be a run. It's a throw. Touchdown. Like we all expected. Reggie Gilliam's second touchdown of the preseason. On the next drive for the Colts. Trying to put this in the end zone. They do. Deontay Johnson beats Marshawn Lattimore. They put up 31 in the first half. They kick it off then. Jacoby Pierman. He's going to run this right up the middle of the field. We get 31 in the first half as well. That might be the most exciting half of preseason football ever. On to the second half now. Sam Darnold is in the game. Rolls right off the fake. Has a wide open receiver and misses Eddie Lovelock. The rookie tight end. We do have Anthony Richardson still playing one more quarter. And we sack him. Brian Brissy. Definitely the best pass rusher from the preseason. Third and 13. Do we have an answer? Now we do. J-O-K on the sack. Darnold looking for a comeback on this drive, but he gets sacked on the first play. And now his preseason is going to be over as well. What is it with all these injuries we have here? And are any serious? We'll find out later as David Mayweather finds K.J. Osborne. That's a first down. 
We got Mayweather here to take us to the finish line. Third and seven. Off the mark for A.T. Perry and incomplete. I did have some second team defenders in here facing the Colts offense. And we actually performed a little bit better in this second half. That's J.O.K. on the stop again. Third and 12. Giving that up, though, to Deontay Johnson. Richardson picking us apart. Second and 10. It's the keeper. Watch out, Richardson. And he's going to run through defenders in the preseason down to the 12. Back to the air on first down. Caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. That's almost 40 points given up by a mostly starting defense. 38-34, fourth quarter. This is Mike White now in the game. And this is much better. Sack for Barry Garland. That gets it back to David Mayweather, who fakes the John Waters and dumps it out to Eddie Lovelock. Picked him up in the fourth round, I want to say, of the draft. John Waters now. He's got space. One of our better running highlights in a while. Into Colt territory, and Mayweather finds Lovelock once again. Keeping these young tight ends involved, it is the undrafted rookie now, Clark Brown, who gets us the first down to the 31. Play action for Mayweather, middle, tough grab, Eddie Lovelock. These young tight ends all look like they have a lot of potential. Pitch this out, Waters inside the 10. We go to third down and eight. Mayweather, end zone too far for KJ Osborne. We end up going forward on fourth down and eight. Mayweather from the pocket. Dumps it, and no first down for Brian Johnson. I even challenged that and lost. A close play goes the Colts' way. We end up forcing a stop, getting the ball back, and a perfectly blocked stretch. Gilliam out in front. Waters getting through that first defender. That was a great run. First and 10 following Gilliam, and Waters gets loose. Inside the 20, refusing to go down. Really good five carries here in the fourth quarter for him. Third and five, Mayweather. He's going to keep it and take it in himself. Touchdown, Saints. I thought Mayweather helped us put together a couple decent drives. We played some complimentary football here. 41-38, Mike White looking for a comeback. And watch out, he's sacked by Chester Hayward, who was unblocked, so I don't really count it as much. Third down and eight. Mike White, incomplete. Greg Cook. But they're set up to go for it. Fourth and eight. Caught! Diving play behind Greg Cook. All these receivers are making plays against us. A deep ball now. What a grab at the five. Come on. That's even a Debo out there. Mike White. Touchdown, Indianapolis. They're back in front, setting the stage for David Mayweather. Last chance to show us what he can do. We got to go get a touchdown with under a minute. Mayweather with a short throw. It's Eric White's side for about seven. On the next play, fits it in again to Eric Whiteside. We burn up our timeouts on those. On the following first down, time for Mayweather. Caught by Tyquan Thornton. He puts it on the ground, but review would show not a fumble. We end up getting in range for a Hail Mary last second. And here it is, Mayweather. Too much arm, and the game is over. And that is the preseason for year three in the New Orleans Saints franchise. There were a few players that really stood out, a lot of injuries, and some concerns, I'd say, for a starting defense that didn't play well in two of these three games. We'll see how it looks when the games count, but we didn't really make a lot of plays on that side of the ball.
We did have a quarterback competition to go through, though, and Trey Lance just took that job. We're not just, you know, settling. I think he went out and won it. He played well. So I'm excited to see how the team looks this year. A lot of changes. Still probably a lot to figure out. Like, we're going to be a different team by the end of the year than we will be at the start. But a 17-game journey, once again getting underway. Trey Lance, four touchdowns, the one pick, had a really good final game. Sam Darnold had his moments, but he just did not match the upside that we got with Trey Lance. Their mistakes look the same in terms of accuracy, but their best plays they're capable of are totally different. In the running game, I was impressed with Waters, Miller, Kamara didn't really get going a lot, but I want to see him more in the regular season. Kevin Blackwell and Eric Whiteside were the most impressive pass catchers to me. And defensively, Eric Kendricks, Jerry Rayburn, Brian Brissy, those players stood out. I wish we could have seen more out of the pass rushers, though. I wanted to see a lot more promise because that's been a weak area that needs to get better fast. Here is the injury report. And thankfully, there aren't like any long-term injuries. And some of these are going to get cleaned up going into week one. But some starters will miss those first games. For cuts, our final cut ended up being Jay Kaner. As we move forward with all brand new quarterbacks in year three. Here is the full list of moves. I don't think anything here is all that surprising. But Eric Stills and Brian Johnson go to the practice squad. Johnson was on the active roster last year. Could not find the spot for him this time around. Morgan Logan to the practice squad instead of having a chance for a roster spot. And for week one, here's the injury report. We're missing some starters and our rookie Juan Beard. So we're going to have to wait to see his debut. I checked around to see other major injuries and the Giants had the two biggest. Gabriel Sutton is out for the year. And so is the defending rookie of the year, Colin Detmer, with a complete PCL tear. Wow. But we now have our team going into week one and year three. What do you think of it? We only have three running backs, plus the fullback now and Reggie Gilliam, six receivers. I feel like going into the year... I have a good idea of how this offense is going to look. I think the tight ends fit really well. Olave and Pierman's speed give us a vertical element. There should be a lot of play action. I still think I have to get better at using A.T. Perry and finding situations where it's better to have Pierman and Olave on the field together instead of Olave and Perry. But I am really excited about the upside with this offense while the defense, I still think, will have growing pains because of the play of the front four. Instead of going for maybe an early impact, high dev defensive lineman, I ended up trading back, hoping to take multiple shots at a star player because there were so many that I liked, and they're going to need time. You know, Juan Beard's not even going to play the first two games. We are going to see Medlock, though, start as the nose in his first ever game. So we'll see what's in store. I think this team is younger, more promising than the year two version. But that team began four and two and then lost 10 of 11. So what's the story this year? Even if we get off to a good start the way last year went, no one's going to trust it until we're into the second half of the season. It's a rebuilding year for us, but I'm excited to see how we play. And year three is going to open soon against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and our old pal Derek Carr. Thank you all for watching today's video. This week is a bit busier for me. I don't know when week one's going to be up quite yet or content on the second channel. I'll get some stuff done as I have the time to do so. But thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. We're on to year three next time.